Hola, bienvenidos. Welcome to number 17 of the um, audio program for helping you to build your vocab up so that you, when you read Victor's Adventures in Spain, you'll whiz through them saying, I know that one, I know that one, I know that one. Okay, so we're still in the P's, last P's, okay? And the first word that we're going to learn today is the word similar, similar, okay? Now that word is parecido or parecido. Parecido, okay? Parecido, parecido. So what does the first part of the word sound like? It's very similar to Paris. Parecido, 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 parecido. Okay, so similar to Paris. So that's how you remember it, because it's very similar to the word Paris. Parecido. Okay. Uh, next word is the word part. Okay, part, as in uh, there's a part of me, uh, there's a part that doesn't work. Yeah, part. And the word for part is parte. Parte. Okay. So it's very similar, but it sounds like party, doesn't it? I'm having a party. Um, so imagine that every night in that part of town, they're having a party. Parte. Okay, they always have a party in that part of town, which is true, isn't it, where the nightclubs are? Parte. Part. Next one is the word aisle. Now that's not aisle, I'll go there. That means the aisle that you walk down, for example, in a church or in a supermarket, the aisle. Okay, and the word for aisle is pasillo. Pasillo. Okay, so how you can remember this is that the word for aisle, we also have another word which is, which is passage. Okay, which is passage. So, pasillo, passage. So, if you imagine like, because in, in England, where when you come into a house, you enter into the passage. Which is just like a little aisle, isn't it? That leads you to the other rooms. Or you can imagine people passing you, going past you down the aisle. Pasillo. Okay? So, pasillo is aisle. Now, we have this interesting word, which has a Q-U in it and then an N-Y. And that's small, the word small. Okay, and how you say small in Spanish is this, pequeño. Pequeño. So be careful with this one because this one tends to be mispronounced a lot. The reason is because when you get a Q-U in Spanish, you don't say qu, you say c, c. Okay, so it's just like a K sound. So that's peque, peque. And then you've got the ñ, which isn't a n, it's a ñ, as in onion. So you get pequeño, all right, pequeño. Now, how are you going to remember this? Well, something small. So imagine a little bird, okay? A little bird, just small. And you look at it at the window and it's pecking on the window. Peck, 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 pequeño, little bird, pecking, bless it. Okay. Now, next one is the word but. But as in, I like you, but. Okay. Um, now, the word for but is pero. Pero. Not to be confused with the word for dog, which is perro, okay? Now, if you have a problem with your R's, all right, if you have a soft R's, okay, um, then what happens is it's very difficult to differentiate between the two words. So you say perro and perro, okay? 
but it's actually it's worthwhile working on your R's. Okay, there are lots of ways you can do it. We've done videos on how to how to um, strengthen up your R. Okay, and so the difference is but pero dog perro. All right, so you just have to one little click of the tongue pero. So how are you going to remember but pero? Okay, if you know dog is perro, you could always imagine butting the dog. It's not that kind of but anyway, but it might be a way of remembering it butting the dog. But also you could say, um, I, I'm not going to have an apple, but I'll have a pear. Bro. Okay, so I'll not have an apple, but I'll have a pear. Okay, a pear. Pero. And then the last one, the word for person, all right, very difficult. It is persona persona okay so what's the difference it's just got an a on the end okay just think of a person a person a person a persona 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 okay so all you have to do so persona person Right, so there you are. That's short and sweet. So let's check out to see how many you remember. If not all, I think you're probably going to get all of these. Right, so here we go. Are you ready? First one. Parecido o parecido. That's very... Sounds like Paris. It's very similar to Paris. So parecido, parecido, similar. Okay, this one. Parte. Parte. What do they have in that certain uh, parties in that certain part of town? So it's parte, part. And so it's virtually the same, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Um, then we've got this one, pasillo, pasillo, people are passing you, where? Down the aisle of the supermarket or down the passage, pasillo, okay, and then this one, pequeño, Pequeño is a little bird from Peking. Peking. Pequeño. Small. Pequeño is small. Okay. And it's to do with size, that by the way, size. Um, all right, what about this one? Pero. Pero. I won't have an apple, but I'll have a pear. So pero is but. And then the last one, persona. Persona. Person. We also have personnel, don't we? Personnel? Oh, we have personnel, don't we? It's not the same. Persona. Person. A person. All right, how did you do? Did you get them all? What about the first one? Did you get that one? Parecido. Parecido? Well done if you did. Okay. Uh, bien, eso es todo. That's all. Um, that's number 17 done. And I'll see you. Nos vemos en el número 18. Hasta luego. Adiós.